all of you who follow me here in Brazil certainly watched my video yesterday, in which I posted the results of some queries I made in the GPT chat, seeking to how the similarities and differences between the activity of a judicial expert in both countries. I also promised you that I considered some of my contacts in that country in an attempt to confirm that the results obtained in the GPT chat are correct. Well, here I am. Sorry for my rust English, but here we go. Okay, my American fellows, I am going to replicate the conversation I had with my followers here in Brazil yesterday. Not if you still remember, because it has been a long time since I have talked to the most of you, but I am a very, very curious guy. And even recently, I made a publication questioning uh, whether an expert would be able to continue working here in Brazil, even living abroad. From what I uh, researched, depend of the type of expertise, there are no restrictions, as long as the expert remains registering with the Council of his professional category. But I did have another question. How does this activity work in the United States? Let's see what GPT chat answered me very well. After asking the GPT chat a series of questions about the expert activity here in Brazil, which he presented good responses, good answers, I asked the following question. Does this type of activity in the United States? And let's see what he answered me. The GPT chat then replied to me the following. Yes, in the United States, there is also the activity of judicial expertise, which is called forensic expert or forensic examiner. As in Brazil, the judicial expert in the United States is a specialist appointed by the judge to clarify technical issues relevant to the judicial process. In the American judicial system, the role of the judicial expert is similar to the, that played here in Brazil, providing technical and scientific information to help the judges make fair and equitable decisions. Forensic experts in the United States can be called to work in several areas, such as accounting, engineering, medicine, psychology, among others. As in Brazil, the process of appointment of judicial experts in the United States is governed by the specific laws and rules, which aim to guarantee the impartiality and independence of the experts. U.S. forensic experts are also to follow specific procedures and prepare detailed and accurate expert reports. In summary, the forensic activity is an essential element of the American judicial system, ensuring that the judicial decisions are based on facts and accurate and reliable technical information. As I work mainly in process involving the review of bank, bank contracts, which often prove that they end up not having much validity here in Brazil, being always subject to questioning, I send the following question to the chat GPT uh, as it comes into my mind. And what are the statistics on lawsuits involving the review of bank contracts in the United States? Unfortunately, in this case, the, the chat was unable to present me statistical data but he presented very interesting information. Let's see. He answered me. I do not have access to up-to-date information on the statistics of legal procedures involving the review of bank contracts in the United States. However, 
I can say that the legal procedures involving the review of bank contracts are relatively common in the United States, especially in cases of dis disputes between consumers and financial institutions. In the United States, consumers have legal rights that protect their interests in financial transactions and courts are responsible for enforcing these laws. Often, disputes involving bank contracts are resolved out of court through negotiations between the parties involved. However, in cases where negotiations are not successful or when there are allegations of violation of consumer rights, uh, it's common for legal procedures to be initiated. The review of bank contracts may include issues such as interest rates, tariffs, abusive clauses, among others. So, not different than here in Brazil. It is worth noting that laws and court procedures related to review of bank contracts may vary from state to state in the USA. So, it's important to consult an attorney specialized in contract banking law to obtain accurate and up-to-date information on the matter. That is, just like here in Brazil, the same points normally questioned here are also questioned there. I just don't think there is an industry of bank revisions actions like that uh, exist here in Brazil. And still curious, about legal certainty in bank contracts, I sent the following question to the artificial intelligence website. I asked him, but in this case, can contractual clauses be invalidated due to illegality or abuse? We replied, yes, in the United States, it is possible for contractual clauses to be invalidated due to illegality or abusiveness in cases of review of bank contracts. U.S. law recognizes the principle that contracts must be performed in accordance with their provisions, but there are limits to contractual freedom. Contract terms that violate federal, state, or local laws regulations may be considered illegal and therefore void. In addition, contract terms that are considered unfair or misleading may also be invalidated. There are several laws and regulations in the United States that protect consumers in financial transactions, such the Consumer Financial Protection Act and Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act. These laws can be invoked in bank contract review cases to protect uh, consumer rights. It's important to point out that the validity or invalidity of a contractual clause depends on the specific case and the applicable laws and regulations. Therefore, it is recommended that consumers consult a lawyer specialized in banking law to obtain adequate legal advice in cases of review of bank contracts. So, that is in short. There may be cases in which illegalities or abusiveness are detected, but it is important also to consult a specialized lawyer. Uh, I ask it, do lawyers go running after clients over there in the US like they do here in Brazil? How do they normally charge for these services? And who will pay for the expert fees? if the performance of a forensic expert or forensic examiner is necessary. So in order to have this answer, I ask the following question. And how much does a, a lawyer fees cost on average in this case? And if an expert appointment is a requirement, who will pay for the services? Then the chat GPT replied to me. The lawyer's fees uh, for reviewing a bank contract can vary depending on the complexity of the case, the hours worked by the lawyer, 
uh, and the region in which the lawyer is located. On average, attorney fees can range for $150 and $500 per hour. As for the appointment of an expert, it is usually the judge who appoints the experts to the acting case, and the experts' fees are paid by the parties involved in the process. The judge may order the parties to share the experts' courts or may order uh, one of the parties to pay in full for the expert services. Uh, in cases where the parties cannot agree on the costs of the expert witness, the judge can make a rescission in these regards. It is important to emphasize that in the United States, many lawyers work with the contingency fees system. That is, the lawyer only receives a percentage of the indemnity value in the case of victory of, of his client. This means that the client does not have to pay attorney's fees in advance, but rather a portion of the compensation amount if they win the case. However, it is important to check with the lawyer if they works with this system and the specific conditions are applicable. That is, just like here in Brazil, over there, the expertise is paid by the disputed parties, but there is still a, a very big doubt. Is there gratuity of justice in USA as it exists in Brazil? Here we, we name it AJG. And here comes the significant difference. The GPT chat replied to me. In the United States, there is not exactly the gratuity of justice as it exists in Brazil. In the USA, low-income people can access uh, free and reduced priced lawyers uh, through non-profit organizations or legal aid services. However, the services are generally limited and may not be available uh, in our regions. In addition, the U.S. government provides free public defender services for people who cannot afford an um, attorney in criminal case, but not for civil, civil cases such as reviewing bank contracts. In the U.S. legal system, parties to a lawsuit are responsible for their all costs, including attorney's fees, court fees, and expert witness costs. However, in exceptional cases, a judge may award an attorney fees to the winning party, uh, which means that the other party will have to pay a portion of the winning party legal costs. This usually occurs in the case where one of the parties has acted egregiously wrong or where one of the parties lacked a reasonable legal basis for bringing the action. That is, for cases of review of bank contracts in civil area, the costs of experts will be borne by the parties, either individually or prorated basis by the court. Interesting, huh? We can conclude the forensic expert job is so much valued in USA than in Brazil. As I had told you, I wouldn't stop my research here. I have a contact in Rio de Janeiro, a lawyer, who studied business law in the United States, who made the following comment in my video. He told me, Pedro, it's almost impossible to compare U.S. system with the Brazilian one. They don't have a code like in Brazil, CPC. It is based on common law or Anglo-Saxon system. For us, it's extremely confusing as it varies by city, county, and state. Each state has its court and Supreme Court, 
judges are elect and so on. I studied business law there and it was a huge challenge. Experts are hired on their resumes, which will almost necessarily call someone of PhD in the area with books written to impress the, the judges. And my experience is limited to Texas. There, each place is different. It's so different. To be a lawyer, you necessarily need to have a master degree to be a judge in general to be elected. As we can see, becoming a forensic expert or forensic examiner in the United States, it's not so easy as it is here in Brazil. As this lawyer told me, the issue of cop and paste, uh, control C, control V, does not occur uh, with the lawyers in United States as it occurs here in Brazil. There, after the masters, they need to pass an exam. Okay, we have this exam here in Brazil too, but maybe not so difficult. This examination in USA is called bar examination, and each state has its own exam. Okay, this video is getting long, but I hope it resonates with my old American co-workers, or at the very least, is interesting to you. My next challenge, compare American models of uh, bank contracts with the Brazilian ones. Let us see which are the main differences, if any. A big hill from Pedro Neto. See you in the next video.